the permission no-no, why you shouldn't be asking anyone that you're calling for permission to do anything. Hi guys, my name is Deepak Shukla, founder of Pearl Lemon Sales. We're a sales training and development agency based in the UK as well as the USA and serving clients worldwide. And here today in day number 34 of 119 days of cold calling training, we're here to talk about the permission no-no. But before we get into it, feel free to click the link in the description below to get access to 17 additional strategies that are not shared in this training. Right, so there's a common trope or common style that I see some people do, probably, I, I, I see callers with several years of experience. Do you have, um, do this, do you have, um, you know, Frank or Deepak, do you, have you got 30 seconds of time? Do you have some time right now to just listen as I walk you through what we do? Or Deepak, I was just wondering if you had a minute, or Deepak, if you, you know, do you have 20 seconds right now? Do you have 60 seconds right now? Have you got some time to, this whole trope of asking for permission, don't do. Why? Because if someone didn't answer the phone, then clearly they don't have time. If they answer the phone, they've got time. You already know the answer to that question. It doesn't matter if they were expecting somebody else, expecting this to be for something else, hoping it would be for something else. If they answered the phone, they've got time, okay? If someone turns up to an event, you don't ask. Do you have time to attend this event? You'd be like, well, I'm already at the, I'm already at the entrance, dude. If I pick up my telephone, it means I've got some time to listen because if it really was a dire situation, then I wouldn't pick up the phone at all. So I think that a lot of people get into the context that it's polite to ask for permission, but the problem with asking for permission is without fail, it introduces the idea that maybe I don't have time for you. Maybe I always have time, but you've asked me, do I have time? Maybe I should consider giving away less of my time. Hmm, time. Time carries a value. And are you asking me if I've got time? Yes, you open up the fact that you respect my time, but there's also all of this other stuff because I respect my time enough to think that it's important enough for me to pick up the phone. If I didn't respect my own time, then I'd pick up the phone haphazardous, haphazardously, which people do, of course, but a true respect. The people that are respecting their time, outside of the people that don't actually, um, for example, receive calls or don't have a direct dial or are out of office, the people that respect their time, see their phone ringing or have a system for making sure that they're not the one answering the phone. And of course, we talk about the idea of gatekeepers and this and that, but fundamentally, you don't need to be asking anybody who's picked up the phone for permission to speak the 30, 60, 20 seconds. Do you have 37 seconds right now? The only moment when you need to ask for permission is then or, or is, is when they introduce the concept or the notion that their time is limited. Don't make the assumption that someone doesn't have time out of the gate. Do not build it into your cold call scripts it will not serve you, it will serve to unwield you, even if you see that, well, you know what, I've been using it and I've been generating appointments. That is, I don't know what the right word is, but it's a little bit of a winning, fall like the winner's fallacy, let's call it, that you think because you score a couple of three, th a three pointers that you've got the perfect technique when you've got a, a three in 10 hit rate that for every 10 three points, three, Three pointers I throw, three of them land. And therefore, I must be throwing the perfect three throw. Not the case at all, ladies and gentlemen. And that's why you need to really consider the reality that you would benefit from not asking people if they've got time. It introduces a whole range of potential objections. And you know what? For the people that had time anyway, they would have just allowed you to speak. And if they were worried that you were going to take forever, they would have said, do you know what, what is it about? Or I don't know if I've got time for this. Or they would have, they, they, they'll qualify their lack of time. They will always verbally qualify the lack of time. So do not ask for permission. No, no, don't do it. Only introduce the concept of time when they introduce their lack of time. Don't assume lack of time. This doesn't mean that you should therefore build a really wildy, wordly, preambly elevator. No, 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 not at all. But do not ask for permission. It's the wrong thing to do.
Remember, we've got 17 one seven gated strategies just waiting for you. All you need to do is bing, subscribe, as well as click the link in the description below to get access to those 17. Get some.